All right, hey Virgo, so we're doing a ghosted read for you guys. Um, you're gonna know this is your situation based off your energy now and how you see this person, how you feel about this person, all that good stuff. So if this does not resonate, you guys check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. I'm doing half the Zodiacs today, the other half tomorrow. Today is Tuesday the 25th. Tomorrow will be Wednesday the 26th. They should be out completely by 8 p.m. MST. All right, so you guys, let's check your energy. Permit. Oh, there's your, you're showing up in your energy, right? I feel like you want an explanation. Wow, crazy. I just did cancers and, and this is the first set and you guys both are pulling this Knight of Wands energy. Um, I don't want to see them. I don't want to talk to them. Was I played? Was I used? Was I, God, you know, um, God, the Knight of Wands. Oh my God, this person, um, you know, it's like they, they, they got what they wanted and then they jammed on it. That's what I'm kind of feeling with this, you guys, on both ends. Um, you know, when that Knight of Wands shows up in reverse, that's that player type of energy, man. I got played. Oh, I just feel like that's where you're coming through. I feel like you do, um, you do want an explanation. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's like, it's, I feel like you want an explanation, you guys. I feel like you're being really quiet, really withdrawn. I feel like you're not really hanging out with too many people right now. Um, and you're probably just really overthinking the situation. Um, I do feel like you you expect some sort of communication or you want some sort of a communication. Um, I, I, that we need to clear this up. Um, I demand, I not only do I demand, I deserve answers at this point. Um, you know, with this Four of Swords and that Hermit card, um, there's, there's no desire for you to reach them. I do, however, feel that you possibly are open to communicating um, because this eight of wands is showing up and that is communication that is um you know receiving delivering giving but i feel with this right here the silence that comes through that four of swords and hermit that speaks volumes in itself is saying i am not i'm not even going to try with this person okay um they can come to me it, it, you know they can come to me they should come to me they owe me something um uh, but you know if it doesn't if it's not here if it's not received you're not i feel like this is it I'm, I'm going to heal from it. I'm going to grow from it and I'm going to release it because you know what? Everybody deserves better than the Knight of wands in reverse. I'll say that um, when he comes in the upright, that's good in the reverse. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not good. All right. So let's just see how you're now seeing this person, how you're feeling about this person. All right. We have the seven of wands. When this guy shows up in reverse, um, that, that to me, it shows selfishness. Okay. This person thinks about themselves. They care about themselves. They don't care what they do to other people. All right. Um, you got the nine of wands showing up. So they, they lack, um, you know, empathy is kind of what I feel. They lack empathy. They, they don't care if they hurt other people. Um, really, you know, um, somebody who's just really, really misguided lacks, um, some lacks the, um, um, it's what I feel with, that is coming through with this energy. It's almost like you have compassion for them. And I'm not saying to click off this, but I mean it in a mature way. Okay. Um, you know that they know what they're doing is wrong. Okay. But I also feel like for whoever is here, you also can identify that there's some sort of unhealed issues and wounding with this person, um, that stems from their behavior. And they could have been somebody who was acting kind of like they were all good to go ready you know, for, for ABC all the way to Z, you know, um, and then I, it's selfish. It turns selfish. That's how I see this. Um, you know, I, I just, I just really feel like it's a lack of self. It's, it's not lack of selfishness. It is selfish. Um, you know, this person, I just feel like they, I don't know why I just feel like they lack empathy. They don't care if they hurt people. You could have been expressing your feelings in such a way um, that they were maybe had little to no response or they kind of was evasive or just dodged your feelings and changed the subject. You know, it's like riding in the car with somebody and, oh, you know, you're talking to them and they turn up the radio. That's happened to me once um, it, because the person really didn't care. He, he didn't care. And, and I, I was young, um, but it was the most disrespectful um and I really had an interest in him and it was like one of the most jaw dropping, most disrespectful situations I could have ever been in. Um, and that's kind of how I feel like this person acknowledged your, your, you, your energy, your feelings. Okay. Um, let me, let, let's check who this is. Who is this energy? So you got Taurus energy coming through right here. Definitely. Um, that I I'll say this, I do acknowledge what they've done. 
they do acknowledge what they've done. Okay, with the the five of coins, um, I can I, I even want to go so far as to say they knew they were gonna ghost out. Um, they knew they were gonna ghost. They knew it. They knew it when they met you. They knew when you were talking. Um, and you could have had sex with them once. You could have given them money once. You could have had sex and given them money once um, because they had to borrow it. You know, not paying for sex. That's not what I'm talking about. But um, the Knight of Coins comes through. This is somebody who's very bored, stuck, easily disinterested in, in life and situations. Um, and the Knight of Coins does carry a lot of wounding. That's a wounded warrior. Okay, we have the Three of Cups coming through. So how many um, energies was this person dealing with? Um, you know what I mean? Um, they're in that energy. So there could be other in, in, there could be other instances happening here. Now, I'll tell you, it doesn't feel as serious as the other read I have done so far. Um, which was cancers, which was a clear, a clear, like somebody, somebody messed up big time over there. All right. But this right here tells me that this person is just quite not ready to settle down, you know? And honestly, I feel like you guys are probably not the only person that this has happened to Virgo. Okay. So let's just see how they feel about the ghosting. How do they feel about ghosting? They don't know what they want. You guys, they truly don't know what they want. Okay. Um, look, it's like, that's what I do. But there's going to be somebody that comes along like this Empress energy right here, which I do feel like is you. Um, and, they're, and it's going to shift the whole, their whole entire life. It's going to shift their perception. Okay. The hangman, it's almost like they knew they were going to ghost. They knew they were going to hurt you. Um, it's not that they want to hurt you. I feel like they knew they were going to. And now it's almost like they're confused about what they've done. Okay. The two of coins, um, you know, juggling other, I, I'm just too busy. I got this, that, and the other going on and. And I can't, you know, um, the ace of wands, you know, that's thinking with other body parts, not the heart and not the brain, maybe the brain, but not the heart. Okay. Um, and I, I don't think I have to tell you guys what that card represents. Um, you know, it's the, it's the male follicle card, you know, male or female doesn't matter. Um, I feel like that's, that's what they used to think with. Okay. Um, but honestly, I feel like you're going to be the one that comes through and shakes up. All right. What they have been doing to themselves and to other people. That Empress energy, it does indicate abundance, love. Um, you know, that is, that's something that this person has probably never, ever felt. Abundance and love in the sense of home, a sense of comfort, a sense of security. Um, and I feel like that's been based off of your maturity. Okay, so let's see how they're currently feeling about you. How are they currently feeling about you? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nine of coins, the wish fulfillment. I shouldn't have done that. Missed opportunity. You know what? You showed me more than anybody else. Ten of coins, the seven of coins, wanting to heal it. Okay, this person knows that they messed up. They know that they messed up. And I'm just going to tell you as your friend, not your tower reader. Man, if you guys end up taking this person back, because this is a 30-day turnaround, you need to make sure that they're, they're freaking on point. You need to see some change. You definitely need to see some change because I can tell from your energy that you're, you're the type of person that would never do this to somebody. And even if you did, it was way back in the day and you're definitely way, you've way outgrown those days. Okay. Um, they want to heal it. They want to fix it. They want to come through with that four of cups, um, uh, basically with an apology. Um, you know, the nine of coins also could represent the taking advantage of somebody, taking advantage of the heart, the love, the kindness, the care, uh, taking advantage. They recognize that. So um, let's pull and we're going to see why they ghosted. What is going on with this person? Why did they ghost? I have your little hedge of protection over here with the black tourmaline set up, you guys, because we want to clear that energy. We want to ban. We're going to. It's banned. It's banned from our energy zone. All right. Okay. So here's what we come through with. You guys, um, a bride in a cage is what dropped out. Okay. Bride in a cage is basically it's. It's not the expectation. Okay. It's not the expectation. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to say this. The fact that you came through with the Empress energy, I feel like this person thought they were going to be able to pull one over on you as they have done in the past. And you coming through that Empress, inter, Empress, Emperor energy, whatever, they didn't expect their feelings to grow that deep. Okay. What you're, what's starting to happen right here is you're bouncing this reflection off to this person. Okay. So here's you behind this, you see this cage. It's almost like this is a mirror and you're standing over here, but what they see right here is I'm a, I'm a POS. Okay. It's almost like what you have reflected into them is, um, 
wow, what did I do? Okay. I feel like they're running away from their now emotions and feelings and the level of, of everything that I just said to you, <laughs> you know, they're starting to really get that look and it's almost like the, the, uh, connection scared them. Um, you know, and, and I feel like that's where that, uh, the unexpected, um, not the expectation. I feel like you're, you are, you, <laughs> they're playing you as an exception, but you're actually the rule. Okay. That's what I feel is coming through with that card. So let's just see if they're coming back in the next 30 days. Look at that. The lover's card. You guys, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Their ego is definitely being, um, it, it, their ego, it's, it's going to live with the flowers wherever they're at. It's being buried with the flowers and what comes through is the soul. Okay. You might not see it right now, you guys, but I do feel in the next 30 days, you're going to see a huge transformation, a huge change. It doesn't mean that this person is going to come through and it's going to be all, Oh, let's go run away and get married. This is going to be like, no, you've really knocked me to my knees. Um, and I've realized what a POS I've been. Okay. That's what I feel they're going to come back with. So let's just see what their intentions are. What are their intentions when they come back? What do we got? The Knight of Cups, that Prince Charming. So it goes from the Knight of Wands in reverse over here to that Prince Charming, right? We got the world card coming through. I want, I want to work on it. The three of pentacles. I want to build. I, I need to learn how to trust myself. I need to learn how to trust others, right? And the Knight of Swords, somebody who's not going to quit until they get, um, till they, till they get at least the, um, um, forgiveness, you know, if, if they could even get that from you at this point. So let's see, um, whose initials come through here, you guys. If your initials or their initials don't show up, that is fine. That is not, this is just the side dish. This is where the meat is. Okay. Initials UV, JH, and we have RZ. All right. Virgo, I'm leaving it there. I'm sending you guys so much love. Take care.